ang pamagat ng ating uh, message ngayon, the power of spiritual reserve. Parang may resemblance do sa year end. No? So, natapat lang po yan. No? So, ating basahin po sabay-sabay. Nakit, kung nakita na po, say amen. Okay? So, ating basahin, For God, who commanded the light to shine out darkness, has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency, the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body of the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Alam nyo, sa Saudi, pag nagtatravel kami sa Alcobar, Naging uh, style ko na na kahit na half pa yung aking gasolina, pag may nakita akong gasolina, nagpupultang ulit ako. Kasi malayo yung, ano eh, yung Riyadh to Damam eh, that's 400 kilometers, no? Kasi, kung saan kami nag-stop over na tiyempo doon, magpupultang na ako kahit half pa. Kasi hindi natin alam kung saan ang susunod na gas station. Especially before, wala pa mga Google, uh, Google, Google na eh. Malam mo, oy may gas station. At kung meron man, misan walang, wala pa supply yung gas station na yun. So, mabuti na na mag, mag uh, full tank ka na ulit para in case mas malayo-layo pa yung susunod, hindi ka kakabakaba. Alam ni Brad Louie yun eh. na nangyari sa kanila din ni Pastor Jake eh, na para, uy, wala nang gasolina, di ba? Tapos kukunti na lang. So, kakabaka-baka kasi mahirap ma-stranded sa disyerto. Disyerto yan eh. At ang highway doon, talagang diretso, walang mga bahay sa, sa tabi. Di ka tulad dito, pa nag-travel ka sa province, di ba? May mga bayan-bayan. Doon, hindi ah. Eh kung natapat ka pa na uh, ano, summer, patay ka. Di ba? Ang hirap. So, hindi ka natatakot kasi meron kang reserve. Kasi minsan din, yung next na gas station nga, hindi, hindi nga laging sigurado ko yung susunod na gas station, may supply sila nung minsan diesel yung available lang eh. So, paano yun? Disgrasya ka na nun. Kaya mga sasakyan, mapansin mo, meron sign for ga- yung gauge sila be F tsaka E, di ba? Alam niyo ibig sabihin nun, mga drive. Pag F, Uh, full, hindi few. Ha? Pag E, empty, hindi enough. Ha? So pagka E na siya, hindi ibig sabihin wala na siyang gas. Meron pa siyang 5 liters na reserve. Kaya iilaw, yung, iilaw na yung, yung uh, sa gas mo. Ibig sabihin, ginagamit mo na yung 5 liters na reserve mo. So kailangan magpagas ka na. E kung wala, kang mag, wala ka pang gas, huwag ka nang umalis. ko na sa bahay. So yun, para hindi ka eksaktong e- empty, may 5 liters pa yan. Tama, diba? Yun ang kaya iilaw yun eh. So, tatansyay mo na ilang kilometers per liter ba yung sakya mo? Kung uh, 12 kilometers per liter, so may 5 liters, so may ilang kilometers ka pa pwedeng patakbuhin yun. So, ganun po, no? So, meron kang reserve. Yung indication yun na reserve na ang gas ang gamit mo. Kaya tayo mga kasyano, importante na lagi tayong merong spiritual reserve. Di ba? Especially in times na, ka, na nakakasabay-sabay ang mga pagsubok. Isa sabay-sabay. No? When it rains, it pours. When trials, uh, Nag, nag-rain, it pours also. Di ba? Minsan sabay-sabay, di ba? Yung kaliwat kanan yung problema. Yung tipong may nangyayari na na aksidente sa sakin, buong pamilya na matay, tapos isa lang yung natira lang, isang anak. Di ba? Isa, yung masakit yan. May, may gano'n, yung dok, doktora pa, yung Pilipina na doktor. At ang nag-survive lang, anak nila, patay yung 
both parents niya na bang binangga pa uwi. So parang sasakyan, may spare tire ka. Kamaari, tatlo yung spare tire mo eh. Hindi ba alam eh, di ba? It seems na every day, every day, we do not hear someone who is having some problems. Laging merong, merong may problema. Di ba? Every day yan. Meron tayong marinig na merong problema. Just last year, in fellowship natin, si Sister Lourdes, sa, sa kalagitnaan ng ating kasiyahan, na allergy siya, no? Gusto pa niya mag-stay, but, di ba, uh, health, ano, medical uh, emergency na yun, kailangan niya muwi, kasi, uh, pagka ang allergy, hindi yung biro, pag sa, sa lalamunan mo na yun, uh, kuwan, eh. pero, sabi sa akin, ba yun, hanggang ilang oras pa ba? Kasi gusto niya pa mag-stay, dahil nag, Enjoy siya sa fellowship natin. But natamaan siya na allergy. So, kailangan siya yatid. Yung mga ganun. Di ba? Biglaan. Others just lost their loved ones. The Johan family suffered the loss of a mother. Also, sa family namin, at a young age, yung nephew ko, wala pang 40, pass away. 38 years old. Yung mother ni Sister Nena, of course, matanda na yun. Papangking ko, 38 years old. Napakabata para mamatay. And ang lakas-lakas nun, ano yun sa sports yun. So, mga ganun bagay, biglang uh, mga nangyayari sa ating buhay. No? Mga ganun trials, pagsubok. Some of, some of you here, are now suffering with pain, you want me to try it this, <laughs> or sickness. And all of us now, and all of us know not what tomorrow will hold. Hindi natin alam ano yung mangyayari sa kinabukasan. Lahat tayo. Wala tayong alam kung ano ang pwede mangyayari sa kinabukasan. Baka kahit mamaya lang. Wala tayong alam. But, Hindi ba napakaganda? Is it good? That through it all, Jesus is still there. He's still there to lift us up and to bring us through everything that we are facing and give you victory. Amen. Yan ang napakaganda. There's Jesus Christ to give, to give us victory. Victory in Jesus, my Savior. Forever. Pastor Nilo gave me the text. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 to 9. Virgin, uh, ikaw mag-message sa uh, Sunday. Ito ang text. But I have to... Bali, yung main text natin ay from verse 8 to 9. But I need to include verse 6, 7 at yung 10. Kasi yun din yung conclusion. Para sa expository of the text. Na tiyempo naman sa birthday ko yung pastor. <laughs> so, blessing na. Sa birthday ko, before, nung pag magbabirthday ako, busy ako kung anong klaseng handa ang gagawin ko sa mga kaibigan ko. Hindi ko ma malaman paanong mesa ang gagamitin ko, anong handa. Wala naman ako panganda yung nanay kung magbibili ng panganda. <laughs> Pero ngayon, hindi ah. Uh, ako'y napuyat sa pagpiprepare ng message. Yun eh, yun eh. Yung, uh, yun eh mga changes. Do, kagabi, nagkaroon kami ng konting salo-salo lang sa after 12, lubas na kami dyan, sumuwi na. Pagkabalik, sila natulog, ako ay nag-review pa ulit. <laughs> sa mga 4 a.m. na ako natulog. Hindi na rin pala ako nakatulog. <laughs> so before, ang gagawin ko yan, prepare yung birthday ko. Di ba? Hindi, tayo dito mag-birthday sa ating gawain. Diba? I think that God wants to encourage us today. You and I, it is not it is not his will that we should be overcome by the cares of life. Hindi niya will na tayo ay ma-overcome ng mga mga pagsubok dito sa mundo. 
He wants us to know that no matter what happens, it all has a purpose. God wants you to know that even in your weakest moments, you are valuable to Him and He still desires to use you for His kingdom and His glory. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 6-7. Ito pag, af, pag kailangan ko sama. Pag ito, after natin mabasa to. Yung mga nagpaplanong maglaylo, bigla kang matatauhan after this verse 6 to 7. Bigla masasaya, uy, nakakaya pala. After this verse 6 and 7. Yung nagpaplanong maglaylo muna ako kaya. Sila na muna, marami naman. Pagkatapos natin ma-expound to, masasaya mo sa sarili mo, hindi dapat sa isip hindi mo ginawa yun. Hindi mo dapat man lang inisip yun na maglaylo ka muna. Verse 6, For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, had shined in our hearts. He gave the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Verse 7, But we have the treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of His power may be of God and not of us. Huwag natin kalimutan that it is the same God, it is the same God who commanded the light to shine at the creation that gave us the light of the gospel. Isa yun. Yung nagbigay sa atin ng light of the gospel, yun rin yung nag-create ng light do sa creation. It's the same God And the knowledge of Jesus Christ all through the Bible ang light is used as the emblem of knowledge, purity, and truth. And darkness is the emblem of ignorance, error, sin, and wickedness. Yan ang emblem, yung darkness. God has been so good to us, to those of us who know Him. By His mercy and grace, and through His love, He reached down to each of us, called us forth out of the darkness, and brought us into this mag- marvelous light. The natural mind, ang ating natural mind, by nature, ignorant yan. Nasa darkness yan. The mind of a sinful man is just a dark and barren as Genesis described the earth in the beginning. But before I continue, I'd like to acknowledge Pastor Jason May at ang desiring God where I got some contributions sa ating preaching today. Eh? Uh, Pastor Jason May. Genesis chapter 1, verse 2 to 4. And, uh, the mind of a sinful man is just as dark and the barren as Genesis described the earth. Keto ka, keto yung description na kung ano meron ang ating pag-iisip. Genesis 1-2 The earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters and God said, Let there be light and there was light and God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness. The divide. In the mind of a sinful man, There is deep ignorance, may deep ignorance of God. We did know of His law and His requirements because we were living in the darkness. Yan ang ating sitwasyon. We're living in darkness. 
of sin, we could only further from God and deeper into that darkness, our road was going ever deeper into sin. But God searched us. God searched us, searched us out and chose to send this light into our minds. Binigyan tayo ng ilaw. He helped us to see things as they really are, all because of His mercy and grace. Kaya tayo may different point of view. Ang tunay na kristyano may different different point of view about everything compared to the people of the world who don't have personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Meron tayong, ang kristyano, ang totoong kristyano, meron siyang different point of view. We see everything differently. The worldly man doesn't see anything beautiful about going to the church and serving the Lord. Walang maganda para sa isang hindi nakakilala sa Diyos. Pumunta ka rito. Gising ka maaga. They don't see the beauty of our Lord and Savior. They don't understand what the gospel is all about. Ganyan rin tayo nun. They don't see any value in sitting for an hour and listening to the word of God. Walang value. Magtupo ka dito. Kaya nga pag unbelief, talagang peke ka kasi, hindi ka makakatagal. Umupo ka na matagal dito, pinaparosahan mo sarili mo. But, they do, because they don't see value of sitting here for an hour, listening to the word of God. They don't place any confidence. They don't place any confidence in the promises that God has given to us. Hindi nila kaya kantayin standing on the promises. Hindi nila kaya kantayin yun kasi they don't have confidence on the promises of God. But tayo, pag kinakanta natin, di ba, nakakomfort tayo, standing on the promises of God. They don't see any confidence on that. And they certainly don't see any purpose in converting to Christianity because they living in darkness and are spiritually blinded like we are before. We're spiritually blinded. But thank God, we thank God that He has helped us to see the truth. We understand more about what's important and we can set our promises on things that are eternal now. Diba? Yun na eh. Iba na yung pag-iisip mo eh. We can see the end of all things. We can know the promises of God because we it's in the Bible. And we stand on it. And we understand that we can put our trust in God. Yun ang pagkakai, malaking pagkakaiba because we can put our trust in God to bring us home to heaven when this when this life is over, pag ang ating boy tapos na, we have confidence. Meron tayong prepare doon. Diba? Mansion over the hilltop. We believe on that. That's one of the promises of God. We have confidence on that. So we have different point of view. Totally. Malaki ng pagkakaiba. Ang tanong, alam niyo ba why did God illuminate our minds? but tayo binigyan ng ilaw? Alam mo ba ngayon? Bakit? God allowed the light to shine upon us so that we might see the, His glory. We can see the glory of God when we look upon Jesus, God's only Son. 
When we look upon the Redeemer, we can see the glory of God in Him because Jesus reflects the brightness of His glory and the ex expressed image of His person. Yun yun, hindi lang pa. Dahil sa'yo lang. Dahil ikaw yung mabait. Yeah, parang mabait naman ito si Bridges. You know? yeah. Kakawi kami ng mata. Yeah. Bibigyan ko ito ng light. It's all because of Jesus Christ. God has turned on the light inside of us. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of power may be of God and not of us. He has turned on the light inside of us. And now we have this treasure of the gospel on the inside. It's a verse 7. Eh. We have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Hindi. Not of us. Kaya, huwag natin pagpilitan. May parte ka sa kaligtasan. Pag nagkamali ka, sinadamay mo yung Diyos. Eh. Yung Diyos, eh, pinayaga na. Dahil sa Diyos, eh, bigla na naging sovereign yung Diyos no, pag kaya yung may mali ka. Pero pag dati sa salvation, gusto mo may parte ka. Pero pag kaya yung nagkamali, gusto mo wala kang parte. Hindi, Diyos yun. Eh. Ganun eh. Ganun ang tao. Eh, no? God has turned on the light inside of us. We have the treasure of the gospel on the inside. The treasure that God has put inside you and me is so valuable that no price can be placed upon it. Wala pong presyo yan, yung presyo na inilagay sa ating puso. How much is a soul worth? Magkano ba ang uh, worth ng isang kaluluwa? Meron, bibili na ngayon, tao to. May ganong tao, ano, nang bibili ng tao. Kano ka? Magkano ka? Kanong kalo mo? Meron bang presyo yun? How much is the message of salvation worth? Meron ba? It costs everything that heaven had to offer and yet the gospel message is distributed inside of you. And I imagine, walang presyo yan. Pero, tayo binigyan ng gospel, ng understanding of the gospel. It's now inside us. Inside of you right now is the most valuable treasure in the universe. Kung sinong nakakaitid ng gospel, you have the most valuable treasure in the universe. Ano yun? Understanding what is the gospel. Nandito sa puso natin. It is the message that Jesus saves. Alam natin na si Cristo lamang ang nakakapagligtas. Jesus saves. Jesus saves. Jesus saves. We know that. And we truly believe on that. We have confidence on that. And we'll give eternal life. Alam natin Ki Kristo lang, merong eternal life. Andito yan, sa inside natin. To anyone who will believe upon Him, all the money in the world cannot buy the treasure. Hindi lang kayang bilhin to kahit gano kayaman, kahit gano ka, trillion, trillion yan, hindi mo mabibili yan, treasure na nandito sa atin. Alam nyo ba yun? Walang presyo, but it is freely given to us by, the, by God's grace and mercy. Tayo ay nabigyan ito. You and I, so that we may share it with the whole world. Yan ang purpose eh. I-share natin. At magkaroon rin sila ng ganong treasure na gospel inside. But God chose to put His most valuable treasure inside you and I. Imagine, 
We are the depository of that treasure. Of the precious gospel. And we are no more than an earthen vessels. Like a piece of weak pottery. We are weak and feeble with bodies that are constantly decaying, growing old, and dying. We are as fragile as tin glass and liable to having accidents. That cause us to be broken and shattered in addition to being weak and fragile. We are completely undeserving. We are completely undeserving of this treasure. And unworthy. And yet, God gives us the priceless treasure to hold. Kung meron kang treasure, sa may lalagay? Sa babasagin na paso? Di ba? At punta ka sa bangko yung mga uh, safety deposit na talagang safe na safe. Doon nilalagay. But God chose us to put His treasure in us. Unworthy naman tayo. Ganun yung ating uh, natanggap na knowledge of the gospel. Now we'll go on to our main verse. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 to 10. 8 to 9 muna ating kasapan sa yung 10 ng ating magiging conclusion at the end. Hindi, it doesn't matter that we ever surrounded by trials. Ito sabi sa verse 8, 9. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Verse 9, persecuted but not forsaken, cast down but not destroyed. Verse 10, amen. It does not matter that we are surrounded by trials or placed in the midst of them so that they press upon us like we are if we are in a crowd, para nasa isang crowd ka of people. May seem at times like those trials are trying you try trying their best to knock us out. Inak down tayo ng trials. Pabaksakin tayo ng trials. Yun ang ginagawa ng trials eh. Or stop us from moving on in God. Yung trials niyan, they're trying their best to stop us moving in God. It sometimes feels like they are using us parang sparring partner sa boxing. Alam mo yung sparring partner sa boxing para ipapractice. Ikaw yung sumasalo ng suntok. Talagang sinusubukan ka. Or that they are trying him as in while we are running this race. Habang tumatakbo ka, paglago, andyan yung mga trials. No? Sinusuntok ka para tumigil. Trying to keep us from winning or Reaching the fine finish line. Yung mga sagabal. Yung para hindi ka ma makaabot sa finish line. Di ba? But they can stop us. The power on the inside of us delivers us from the trials we face. Yung looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy sat down the right hand throne of God. Yung author ng ating faith. Siya rin na nag-maintain ng ating faith hanggang sa end. Yun ang meron tayo. Kaya yung mga sagabal na yan, kaya natin lagpasan yan. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Sabi ko sa inyo, di ba? Ang ating point of view, we have confidence in the Word of God. Kaya pag sinabi ng Word of God, sabi 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, there hath no temptation taking you, but just as is common to man, but God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Then we have confidence on this verse. Kasi sinabi ito ng Panginoon eh. So pag, na, pag may confidence ka dito, your faith is standing this, sa Sinabi ng Panginoon, sabi, ah, kakayahanin ko to. Kasi, 
sinabi ng Diyos na kung bibigyan ako ng trials, yung trials na kakayanin ko. Ito yung pangako eh. Ito yung pagkakaiba natin sa walang relasyon sa Panginoon. Di ba? Si Paul says that though he may close pressure, press by persecution, alam natin, persecution ni Paul, grabe, di ba? And trials, yet he was not so lock up that he could not move on. Di siya tumitigil. His trials could not stop him from serving the Lord. He still had a spiritual reserve of power. Lagi siya may reserve. Eh. Parang yung sasakyan natin, meron tayong reserve. Kaya si Paul, hindi nawawala ng reserve. Because we have confidence in the word of God. We all, yung mga atin yung mga reserve, binubunot natin pagka dumalang yung trials. Ito sinabi ng Panginoon. Ba't ako mag-aalala? Eh kung wala kang ganun. Eh bulakbul ka eh. <laughs> Spiritual reserve of power on the inside and that power of God permitted him to move on. His energy and desire to serve the Lord could not be stopped. The fire in the heart to serve God could not be put out. And God always made a way for him to keep on keeping on. Na, na, na perflex ka na ba? Have you ever been perflex? Alam ba yung perflex? Being perflex means that we feel like we are without resource. Parang wala tayong resource to know what to do. Parang, ano bang gagawin ko? Ganun eh. Or not to do. Oh, wala kang gagawin. Or to hesitate. Yung perflex. To be in doubt and anxiety. Just being perplex. Yung wala ka siguro, ano, lito ka. Nangangapa. As a travel who doesn't know. Parang nagtatravel who doesn't know the way. Trip ka lang, di mo lang paano pumunta, di ba? Wala kang ways. Meron ka man, naglobot yung ano. <laughs> Ganun eh, yun ang perplex. Parang wala kang kasiguruhan, magulo. Or who has lost his means of transportation na walang ka nasasakyan. <laughs> Ninakaw. <laughs> Kinarnap. Mayroon mga sometimes circumstances that are embarrassing to someone who is supposed to be the leader of the flock often don't know what to do or what course to take. A lot of time we find ourselves surrounded by people who don't understand, who can't see what we see or don't have the vision that we have and we aren't careful, we will begin to listen to them too much to what they have to say. That's what I call perplex. Yung hindi mo na alam sino pakikinggan mo, siguro ito mas mag magaling mo salita dito na. Ito siguro tama. So, wala. wala ka nang wala kang fix o basis ng ano dapat ang uh, gagawin mo. Perplex. Not, pag ikaw ay kristyano, ano ang final reference mo? Bible, di ba? Scripture. Ganon. Sigurado ka eh, doon ka eh. Pero yung perplex ka, kung sino yung magaling magsalta, doon ka eh, parang okay ito magsalta. Ganon. Ganon misa, no? Who can see what we see. Tapos, you listen too much to what they have to say, that's why I call perplex. Nakikinig ka na lang kung ano yung sabi nila. Sige. Sige ka nang, ah, okay, no? parang tama yun. Okay yan. Ang tawag doon, walang sariling disposition. <laughs> But when we don't know what to do, when all of our resources seem to fall, somehow Jesus always brings the answer and we are safe from the absolute despair. Yan ang pagkakaiba ng kristyano. Sa hindi kristyano. Wala na silang ibang takbuhan eh. Pero tayo, di ba? Even the prodigal son, sa huli, 
Di ba? Bumalik pa rin siya. Pero kung siya hindi, ano, wala yun. Tuloy-tuloy yun, pariwala. Ganun eh. eh. Tananggal na lang yung pride niya. Balik siya. Ito talaga, dito. Dito talaga. Panginoon tayo. David said, in Psalms 37.25, I have been young and now I'm old. Did old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. So we have confidence on this word. So, ang totoong kristyano, hindi, hindi, magkaka, hindi mangyayari, wala siya nakita na righteous forsaken, na pabayaan, iba. Or, nagbeg. God's people always face some kind of persecution. But God always produces a way to save them from the hands of their enemies. Yung story ng Israelites. Lagi silang napapahamak at at the end, Panginoon, eh, sasalba pa rin sila. Di ba? God always, hindi mo lang alam kung kailan. After three years, four years, four years nga sila nag-wilderness, di ba? Ano pa kaya eight years? But God always has a purpose. At at the end, iligtas pa rin niya yan eh. And those of them are persecuted to the point of dying and God does not save them from their persecution. He still doesn't leave them alone. Proverbs 18.24 A man that hath friends must shew himself friendly and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Sometimes yung mga trials na yan and, and the actions of those who try pers- to persecute you, make you feel as though you have been thrown down. Parang itinapong ka, no? Pag napapersecute ka. Lalo sa pamilya, ikaw, ikaw lang yung naging born again, di ba? Iba dating sa kanya ng born again. Parang sabi nga sa akin ng father ko before, no? pero hindi naman ako ganun pinersecute, sabi. Uh, parang sa mga loob niya, kasi sa pamilya, ako lang yung nag-iba ng reliyon, sabi ko naman, hindi po ako nagbago ng reliyon. Nagkaroon ako ng relasyon na totoo. Yun ang sinabi ko. So, pag dating ako sa bahay, sabi sa akin ng mother, oh, wag mong gagalawin yung malaki sa Virgin Mary. Sabi ko, hindi yun, hindi, wag natin pag-usapan yan. Pag-usapan natin, ano yung meron akong bagong relasyon. Yun. Kasi may, nadala sila, may mga pisa na ako na after na born, pag-uwi, pinagbabasag lahat na eh. So, Hindi gano'n, no? Hindi naman gano'n talaga ang dapat, no? Kind of like, parang, pag nagpe-pers, may nagpe- parang yung rest there, yung ginanong ka. Gano'n ang pakiramdam, thrown down and pinned to the mat by an opponent. Have you ever felt like the weight of the whole world was on your shoulders? Yung pasang ko ang buong daigdig. Yung may pili ko, gano'n? Isa parang gano'n yung pakiramdam na pasan mo yung daigdig. Bigat-bigat. Diba sa ba't sa akin pa ito dumating yung itong problema? So, tayo, tao, tao pa rin. No? Misa nakakaramdam tayo ng ganyan. Tayo tayo mga, mga Kristiyan. Ang pagkakaiba lang natin, meron tayong tinatakbuhan. Amen. Hindi tayo perflex na walang, wala tayong pwedeng puntahan na maghanap lang tayo sino magaling magsalita. Yan ang pagkakaiba natin. Yung movie na Rocky, sino alam na Rocky? Rocky. O oh, yan. Di ba, madalas story yan, bug-bug siya, di ba? Yung bumaksak na, tapos countdown, mga bago mag-ten, yung takatayo. Lumabo, nanalo pa. Di ba? O. Oh. Alam mo si Paul gamit ang sports para mag, ano, mag, uh, I- 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 explain yung ano yung yung kanyang uh, message di ba di ba running kasi mad- madali ka makarelate eh o tulad niyan di ba si Rocky ilan na yung laging uh, eksakto pag bago matapos yung bill nakatayo ulit ganun ganun pa eh tapos natalo niya pa yung kalaban eh oh 
Yung kalaban, isuntok na suntok. Napagod na kakasuntok sa kaya, kaya natalo na eh. So, it motivates us. Pag may nakita tayong baksak na nakatayo pa. Like a jolt, he's up before the count of ten and he's back in the fight. Yung boxing life ni Rocky, so movie, may seem to bear little resemblance to our lives as believers. Though we encounter battles, we don't train intensely for them. With dedicated professionals to put us through our paces and shore up our victories. We don't know the time, date, and location of our next bout. Di natin alam kailan ba yung susunod na trials darating. So that we can show up prepared para mapagandaan natin. Di ba? Katulad yung laban, may schedule talaga ng laban. Kailan yung laban mo? Ba't yung trials? Hindi, wala schedule eh. Misan, tahimik, bigla na lang darating yung trials. Our battles are spiritual. Seemingly pending and the, compa pending the comparison. That is why you also need the power of spiritual reserve. Meron, dapat tayo meron laging baon na reserve. Maraming tayong bala. Or having a spiritual reserve like gasoline sa ating sasakyan. But as the poll showed, boxing like running provides a vivid metaphor for the Christian life. And then 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 26. We will, be, we will get hit. Tayo tatamaan. We, you will get hit. We often don't see it coming. Hindi mo nakita na darating pala. It could be a health crisis. Loss of love. Loved one. Employment shake-up. Nawal na trabaho. Na-betray. Na-scam. Or some form of persecution. Or maybe it's something we're aware of something was we thought was mild or temporary but it hits when it morphs from hill to mountain. Ang tanong is not whether we will find ourselves in a battle but when. Kailan ba darating yan? Sabi ni James sa James 1 to my brethren count it all joy when you fell fall into diverse temptation. When ha? Pag. Bakit count it all joy? Pag ikaw ay nag-struggle sa mundong ito na hindi na mundo, ibig sabihin talagang ikaw ay nakikristo na. Kasi hindi mo na ito mundo. Yun yun eh. You are, we're struggling here because it's our temporary home now. This world is not my home and we're just passing through. Di ba? Yan ang kanta ng kristyana. Hmm. Iba sana, hindi na matapos ang mundo. <laughs> But we, sabi, sana rapture na. Meron tayong ano eh, looking for that blessed hope, the glories of appearing of a great God, Lord Jesus Christ, a great God. Yun ang atin eh, looking for that blessed hope. Ano yung blessed hope? Yung rapture eh. Yun ang ating eh, tinitignan na ngayon, hindi na yung ano, gano'ng tataas ang dollar o yung, yung uh, stock eh. Hindi yun eh. Importante na sa atin eh, looking for that blessed hope. Ganun ang kristyano. You will be get, you will get hit. The question is not whether we will find ourselves in a kailan. Pero pag ikaw may the power of spiritualism, kanda ka. Kahit kailan mo dumating yan. Paul likewise says, is part of our privilege as believers. Ito hindi na hindi din na iba eh. Hindi porkit na kristyano ko, hindi ka na dahil. Sabi niya, Sabi ni Paul, it is part ng ating privilege ha, as believers. It has been granted to you that for the sake of Christ, you should not only believe in Him, but also suffer for His sake. Philippians chapter 1, verse 29, For unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ not only to believe on Him, but also to suffer for His sake. If you don't suffer for His sake, you are not a true follower of Christ. Ano gusto mo ma? 
hayay hay lagi ang buhay ng kristyano. Parte po yun ang pagiging kristyano, pagiging followers of Christ. That we will also suffer. Moreover, we have an energy enemy who's yung ating kalaban eh, may specialization eh. Yung uppercut na punches, especially para bumaksa ka eh, di ba? He schemes how he will execute, watching for opportune times, hitting when he thinks it will connect with force. Nothing touches us apart from the sovereign sanction of the Lord. The Lord uses it for his purpose and for our good, but there's a reason he tells us to remain fully clothed in his armor, full armor of God. Forces are arrayed, arrayed against us, shooting fiery, arrow, fiery arrows. There are times we will get hit. Matatamaan tayo kahit anong ihilag mo. We may go down. Maari tayong bumaksak. Pag tayo tinamaan, which is a force that we are knocked down. Life takes a hard hit and the, the effect is tantamount to being thrown face down to the ground. The circumstances, the circumstance is devastating sometimes. The pain, excruciating. Try as we might in that moment, it is difficult to grab hold of any semblance of joy or hope. The apostle wrote 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 8 to 10. Peter drives home his reality as well when he says, 1 Peter 4.12, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials which is to try you as though some strange things have happened unto you. Huwag kang parang strange yung nangyayari sa'yo. Parti yun ang pagiging kristyano. The ordeal in fiery and thus come upon you, it packs a knockout punch. The enemy, the enemy's goal is to devour. Yun ang, yun ang goal ng ating kalaban. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Di ba? Pag ikaw, hihina-hina, masasagpang ka ng Parang liyon yan, nag-aabang na sino yung nangihina, mag-relay doon mo na ako, mag-backslide mo na ako. Iyan ang inaabangan ng kalaban. Diba? Baga sa flak, pag lumayo ka, yun yung, yun yung nihintay nung ano eh. Nung uh, parang yung fax, so, yun, para sa kung gaba, kasi nag-iisa na lang eh. Diba? Ganun ang sitwasyon natin. But the Lord's goal, ang goal ng enemy, kunin ka para hindi ka na magamit. Pero ang goal ng Panginoon is to grow us in faith, trust, and endurance. So we can get up. Ang pagkakaiba natin, meron tayong power to get up. Tayo makakakatayo. When we are hit hard and knocked to the ground, it feels as it if our strength is gone, parang hinang-hina ka na, the bruises of a hurt, heartache, pain, keep us pinned, parang yung kiraki na movie, the enemy celebrates. Pag ikaw baksak, nagsiselebrate yung kalaban natin. Nagsasaya yan. Thinking it's over. Pag ikaw, hindi ka na makukuha. Kasi may eternal uh, yung Salvation mo, iter. Pero, pwede kanyang hindi na magamit. Di ba? Kasi, baksak eh. Hindi na makukuha yung kaligtasan mo, pero hindi ka na magagamit. Yun ang kaya niyang gawin para hindi na makalat yung gospel mula sa iyo. Ganyan yun eh. But the Lord is faithful. He has given us the powerful truths to hold unto when we are down, 
truth that help us get up again. Yung katotohanan, yan ang nagpapatayo sa atin ulit. Year of God, little children have overcome them. Because greater is the is he that is in in you than he that is in the world. First John 4:6. Oh. Paano ka mapapabagsak? Eh nasa iyo greater 'yon. The Lord Jesus Christ. Ito yung mga spiritual reserve, ilagay mo sa iyong memorize mo, di ba? Kasi ito yung gagamitin mo eh, pag dumarating mga trials, di ba? Sasabihin mo, di ba? Greater is He that is in you, in us. May indwelling tayo ng Holy Spirit, the Lord Jesus Christ. Nag-indwell sa atin. When we accepted the Lord, when we accepted the gospel, that's the indwelling, hindi na nanaalis. That's why, sabi, 2 Corinthians 5.17, diba? If anyone be in Christ is a new creature, behold, all things are passing, uh, all things are become new. Yun eh, yun ang nangyari. So yung nasa sa atin, greater eh, walang tatalo dyan eh. Romans 8.39, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Promise yan. Assurance. We remember that Jesus was once down. Di ba? Siya ay down. He was crucified. And buried. And for a time, The enemy surely rejoice, nag-rejoice nung siya ay, ay napako. Nagtagumpay ang kanilang gusto mangyari. Na-crucify ang Panginoon. At siya ay nailibing. But Jesus, what happened? He rose on the third day. Napaka-importante ng resurrection sa atin kasi yun yung patunay na we have a that He lives. He survived. Na-survive niya. Yan ang ating Panginoon. The third day, siya ay nabuhay ng muli. And the same power that raised him from the dead is at work in us. That's the same. Yung Holy Spirit, yun. E meron tayo. We get up because we've been graciously given eternal light. And what we endure in this life cannot compare to the glory to come. Like Job, you will rise again to fight another. Your strength will recover and you will be ready for the next battle. When it comes, God always makes a way for you to win, for us to win. Laging ganyan, merong paraan ng Panginoon para tayo ay Magwagi. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 17 For our light affliction which is in which is but for a moment work it for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. We never stand alone toe to toe with the enemy in our battles. Hindi tayo nag-iisa lumalaban sa ating kalaban. God is always there. Our God, mighty in power, fights for us. Showed in His armor, we stand firm. And even if we were knocked down, the truth is that He is upholding us with His hand. Psalms 7, 24, Though He fall, He shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholded Him with His hand. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. Why we look not of, at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are, which are not seen are eternal. Doon tayo nakatingin sa, it, sa bagay na hindi nakikita. Kasi eternal yun. This should be the 
Christian way of thinking, living by faith. Ito dapat ang pag-iisip natin, living by faith. Hindi yung konting uh, naalog ka lang eh. Pas mo na ako, pastor. Para ang daling sabihin. Hindi mo na isip yung there's a treasure inside you, the gospel, which you need to share. Hindi mo na isip yun. Na underserving kang bigyan ka nun, pero pinili ng Panginoon doon sa ilagay. Di ba inilalagay lang yung treasure sa mga safety deposit box? Pero ikaw na pili kang depository, then apakadali sabihin mo, sandali lang pastor, baka mga one month lang. Oh, pas mo na ako. Ganun lang. Nasa darkness ka eh, binigya ka ng light. Oh. Kung ikaw ito itong krisyano, ni sa isip, hindi mo isipin na pas mo na ako. Diba? Hindi kaya yung bilhin ng pera yun eh. Yung gospel na naintindihan natin na wala yung iba. Anong gagawin mo? Gamitin ka na pa, para ma-share yun. Tapos sabi mo, pas mo na ikaw. Tapos ang pag-backslide mo, schedule, ni schedule next month mag-backslide. Hindi mo na ako, mga three months, then after three months, balik ako. Kung makabalik ka pa, eh, kagala-gala yung kalaban, di ba? Seeking whom he made the bar. Kala mo, ligtas ka, nakaabang yung kalaban. Ibaba ang kalalo niyan. Di ba? Pero kung ikaw, nasa Panginoon, hindi ka kayang ano yan. Uh, i-deceive. Huwag mo na hintayin yung nangyari sa prodigal son na halos nakikain siya doon sa ano? Mga uh, hayop. Na hindi mo naman dapat kailangang abutin. Pero ang Panginoon yung mabahit pa rin, talagang mapagmahal. Kung kayo bumalik, kayo tatanggapin ka muli. At dyan lang, di ba? What effects, ito yung tanong kanina to, ano ba effects does all the trials and persecution when they come have upon the children, child of God? They serve only to be produced, to produce eternal glory in us. Glory that we then give to God for what He has done in us. Ganun yun. Binabalik mo yung glory sa Panginoon. Ano, ano ba yun? Ang trials tend to prevent us from the world. We learn to, dis- to depend upon God more and more. Yun ang effect eh. We depend, ito, tulad sabi ni Brother El, misa nag-relax na eh, porkit okay ang mga sitwasyon eh. Hindi na nag-relax sa Diyos eh. Di ba? And trials comes, then you depend to God more and more. Yun yun eh. Yung sagot dun eh. Number two, they tend to help us purify our heart by helping us to break away from the sin that is displeasing to God. In effect eh. They help us to look to God for consolation and support and not look to others that to look to yourselves. This is the effect ng mga trials na yan. Sa Diyos, pumunta ka. Eh, tulad sa habi ni Brodel sa ating ano, eh, nangyayari, misa yung mga isra, bigla na nagre-relax porque okay, walang gera, o oh, balik na naman sa dati. Niwala naman sa baal, gagawa na naman ng mga graven image. Nabola-bola lang ng mga kainanites, so balik na naman. Ganun eh. No? Eh, bigla kang binigyan na naman trial, so balik, tawag na naman sa Panginoon. That's the effect. Number four, they help us to focus on the glories of the heavenly world and help us to desire to be there and to seek heaven as our home. We think of heaven more. Number five, they remind us that God has promised to reward his people with eternal life in, the he- in heaven as the result of their bearing trials in this life. Yung mga dumadaan sa pagsubok sa nag, nag-struggle sa mundo. Yan yung totoong talagang may, may, may indwelling ng Holy Spirit. Kasi nahirapan na siya 
mag-adjust din sa mundo. Kasi hindi niya nga yung mundo, hindi mo na ito mundo. So huwag ka nung magtaka na parang strange yung nangyayari. Yung sabi sa key first Peter, huwag kang mag, huwag, huwag maging strange sa yung nangyayari yan. Kasi, di ba, sinabi nga yung believing on Jesus Christ kasama yung sa, to suffer. Di ba? The world hates Christ. That's why he, they, they would hate us also if you are followers of Christ. Diba? Huwag mo expect na yung mundo pag nagsalita ka na base sa Bible, eh, kahit kaibigan mo magagalit sa'yo. Lalo pag tinuro yung tungkol sa homosexuality. Diba? Kagulo na yun. Biglang sulian ng kandila. Diba? That's, that's, di, kasi yung mundo hates Christ. Because why? Because Christ preach about the, yung uh, yung sin di ba galit na galit nga yung mga pare sa kanya kasi pinamumukha niya yung kinyang mga kasalanan nila kay galit sa kanya oh yun yun eh kay galit ang mundo kasi sinasabi kay Kristo para kay Kristo yung kasalanan ay eh, talagang darkness yan hindi kaya tanggapin ng tao kasi nila Gusto kasi ng tao sa mundo, yung kasalanan, eh, gawing legal pa nga. Affliction, suffering, and persecution, no matter how long in this life they may last, will last a moment compared to the eternity ahead. James 4.14, Whereas we know not what shall be on tomorrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor. that appear it for a little time and then vanish away. Sa simenteryo, may, may niche yung maliit, malaki, kasi may batang namamatay, mayroong matanda. Di ba? No matter what you are facing right now or what you have faced in the past or what you may face tomorrow, you have the power of the spiritual reserve. It's the word of God. To overcome it all. If Jesus lives within your heart, you have a place in heaven reserved for us. Mansion over the hilltop. Si Jesus Christ mismo ang nangako that they will prepare a place for us. In heaven. Reserve. Naka-reserve, ha? This life may be filled with trials, tests, and all sorts of troubles, but you have the power of the spiritual reserve, is the word of God, to come through every one of them with the victory of God, still reigning in your soul, and the glory that waits for you on the other side is worth anything you have to put up with now. After ng ating year, fellowship, year in fellowship, ang tanong ko sa inyo, did you start replenishing your spiritual reserve? o mas may bago kayong sinusundan na teleserye. <laughs> Kasi yung mga verses na yan, ay yan ang hugutin natin. Pag, di ba? Ano gamit ng Panginoon nung siya ay tinitip ng devil do sa ano? Puro word of God. Di ba? Coach siya ng coach ng mga verses. Yun ang ginamit ni na Lord Jesus Christ. Kaya importante talaga. Meron kang doctrine, meron kang alam mo. Yung mga pangako, yung mga, kasi diyan ka, nagkaka- ka kukuha ng confidence eh. Paano kung di ka nagbabasa? Hindi mo. Pag tinanong sa ano, assurance may kailigtas, ay... Sabi ni Brad Lowy, nabasa doon, ikaw mismo magbasa. Ano, ano ba yung mga assurance of salvation na verse? Basahin mo. Kasi pagdating nag-share ka, gagamitin mo yun. Paano sigurado sinabi ng Bible na may eternal life ako, di ba? Yung mga John 5.24, di ba? Yung mga ganun. Mga assurance of salvation na verses yan. Sa 1 John, di ba? It is written. These things I have written unto you that you may know Diba? 
kayo may kalik na kayo may eternal life. Yung mga assurance of salvation na ano, di ba? Kasi tayo, misan. Pero once ikaw ay eh, may confidence lagi sa Word of God, sa Bible, eh pag kinot na sa'yo, talagang bigla kang lumalakas. So, kung ikaw ay nag-replenish ng spiritual reserve, if you did, then you can say that you have the needed weapon against the enemy. The power of spiritual reserve, which is the Word of God. Lastly, I encourage you all to memorize ang verse na ito, mga ating last verse. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 10. Sabi niya, Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Saan niya? Verse 6 hanggang 10, nilatag muna ni Paul ano yung binigay sa atin na treasure ng Panginoon. Para kung bagay, pag nag-isip ka na maglilaylo, maisip mo yung, di ba, pasalamat ka, kasama ka doon sa ginawang depository ng treasure na, which is the gospel, na hindi kayang bayaran. So, pa, tas ikaw, napakadali sa yung magsabi na, uh, ayoko mo na. Next time na lang. Hindi pa ako ready. So, well, di na madali talaga mag-aaral eh. No? Pero pag once na nabigyan ka at natapos mo, napunta ka na doon sa may conclusion, sa rasap na pakiramdam mo, ay tapos na. <laughs> Meron ka lang may share na message. Is Jesus being manifested in your body, in our life? Is Jesus being manifested sa ating buhay? Yan ang tanong natin sa ating sarili. At tayo punong-puno ng ating ng Word of God. Maraming tayong na-memorize, hinuhugot natin. Meron tayong panlaban. Hindi natin, wala... Tayo, hindi tayo mga ako dito. Pag ikaw ay naging kristyano, hindi ka na, mag, hindi ka na maghihirap. Mas magiging maganda ng buhay mo. Di ba? Kaya tanggapin mo na. Maging member ka na namin. Do? Wala tayong ganun pa nga ako. Sinabi nga eh. The world hates Christ. Noong una, ang mga apostol hindi pa hates ng world eh. Once they start preaching the Lord Jesus Christ, the world hates them, start hating them. Di ba? Eh, doon na ako sa side ni Kristo na i-hate ng world kasi meron pang heaven eh. Diba? Yun yung ano eh. Hindi mo makukumpir eh sa, sa glory na nag-aabang sa atin eh. Walang comparison eh. No? And being chosen one of the deposit, depository of the treasure knowing the gospel hey Ni sa isip, hindi mo na isipin na maglaylo. So now, is Jesus being manifested in our body, in your life? God bless yan po ating message sa araw na ito.